Okay, file upload download operations with the FST controller. Okay, so I've got two pictures here that give a detail before I start. And let's analyze this right here. Okay. The first point of fact or understanding or function is that when you create a project, you've got controller settings, and in the controller settings, you've got a download option here, and you can download source code files or not. Uh, also, the auto start and the stop project is not on as well as so. The only thing that's on by default is the download modified driver files. So I'm going to put on download source files right now, or I'll, I'll leave it off, and I will compile and I will go to communication, I will select the path and hit OK. The 109 under driver config, this should also be 109 so that when you download it doesn't overwrite something that's there or put zeros in. And when we do a download project, we'll see here that uh, it deletes these files on the A and B drives on the controller and it downloads the project run file only, okay? So, reloads and then all starts. So now if I go online, success, close, and I go to the file transfer. So this is like the operational point of view right here, but the B drive has the run file, so these are the files that are on there. And we'll notice here that, if I go back to my editor, that the project zip file is missing, okay? So this is what was given to us as information and so on and so forth. Now, if you change your option and you close this, go offline, controller settings, download, Download source files. Remember, it only downloaded the project run file before, okay? Then I do a compile all. And I do a download all. You see here, there's the project run file, but it also downloaded the project zip file, okay? And if I go back to this right here, so it's downloaded the project zip file. So when I go online and I'm a customer, I log in, close, and I go to file transfer. The biggest difference is right here, this project zip file. And at this point, we can do an upload. It's gonna offer a place to save it. And we can save it wherever we like. And I will select the directory here, save. If I go to my project directory here, there's the project zip file. And we'll see here, there's my th three programs. So if I go back to my, there's my three programs here. C, C, V1, KOP, and so on and so forth, okay? So there are the files. So that is something that will hopefully help you understand um, everything. So the fact that we've been online, theoretically we should be able to do an upload project, but uh, that doesn't always work. What, what the upload program does is it tries to upload, but if you've got some IT privilege problems or something like that on your computer, you'll see here that it tries to upload the project.zip. I don't know where it's going to put it, but it typically has a problem. So I just do it manually. <laughs> and that is going to hopefully help you with some FST upload, download functionality.